What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another Transformers review. This is Transformers TAV54 Scorponok. This is the Takeratomi anime accurate colored version. We have nice dark metallic greens and golds, and a little bit different than the Hasbro version. This is from Transformers Prime of Micron, as they're calling it, over in Japan. And you can see that it's Wave 2, or 3, I mean, because it has the blue Transformer writing on the side. And if you look, on the side of the older ones, we have the white. This is, this is see, Japanese. All right, so we'll take a quick look at this. So we got Prime of Micron. You can see he's got nice artwork here on Scorponok in their own kind of style. The Karatomi, Transformers, Prime of Micron. It's got the figure laid out. We got the photography, generic photography basically. You got a little bit of a bio sort of thing here. Shows that it's compatible with uh, the mini cons of what's out now. Shows a picture of him. Turn it around. We got the little transformation thing going on that Takara is pretty famous for. We got a little couple clips from the cartoon. I think that's episode 9 of season 2. I'm actually just past that. I'm at the episode where Grimlock finds a new disguise. Crane Dino or Dino Crane. And then we got a little bit of a profile up there with some more generic photography but done okay. And you know it says something like buy this toy. American. Not as good. <laughs> got a proof of purchase here on the side too. And without further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so before we get started, it also comes with this nice poster of Hyper, Hyper Surge Optimus Prime. Got Hyper Surge Optimus Prime on one side, Takara Tomy, and on the other, a little bit more of Hyper Surge and his Minicon. Along with, we got Bumblebee from Hyper Surge with all the nice paint apps and Sideswipe. Sideswipe's looking good, look at his head. Very cool. I might get Sideswipe. Maybe. You want $40 at the moment, and I'm not really that fond of that price. But I like how it's got the spikes on the side. It just doesn't... Oh well, yeah, it does have all the Autobot symbols and the kanji. Nice. Looking good. Also comes with a instruction booklet. Is... Okay, so this is him out of the packaging. He comes with his Cutlass. You can see the details there. Pretty cool. Not a bad little weapon there. It's it's not it's hard plastic, so that's cool. And he can hold it in his hand. Little swivel. You can do whatever you want, which way at either one of his either one of his hands. It also pegs into the back of his tail. You can see the hole right there. So this is more for scorpion mode, but we'll just show you. I suppose you could do something like that. <laughs> And uh, away we go with that idea. You can also move the tail around. Get it more in this configuration if you like. Alright, so taking a quick look at Scorponok. We got nice detailing on the sides of his arm. I like that. Nice like metallic forest green. He's got it on his helmet painted. A little bit of brown on the sides. That metallic brownish gold. And he's got the gold uh, face and red eyes. Got a little bit of red detailing here and here, a little line work, a little bit on his abs, along with the gold abs. Nice paint work. I like the little gold detail on his elbow, or sorry, the little red detail on his elbow. Got the lines there. He's got some gold on the top of his shins, as, long, as well as brown paint on the bottom, on both sides. Got some more of that detailing in the back of his pauldrons and uh, yeah so it's got some interesting engineering so you can flip this up and he gives them his arms can go all the way up or out side you also have a bicep swivel it's a full bicep swivel rotation 360 degrees you got a full deep bend in the elbow which is only on a single hinge but definitely more than 90 you know that'd be 90 so we got about Nice, uh, 130 degrees. His head has a tiny bit of a rock. You can get it to look down. Pull it out and get it to look all the way down. 
and you can get it to look straight out and a little bit up. So that's cool. You can you can swivel it as well. Let's do it this way. And you can also tilt. So good posability there. Uh, these are actually connected and interesting. This is not fault. It's not broken. This is part of the engineering. So he's got a little tab there and a little a little tab up here and a little slot there and a little slot or a, a bigger slot there and a bigger tab here and that's how you tab it in the front and then you pop it in through the the slot i'll show you that better in transformation uh, his legs will kick up really high out to the sides full splits upper thigh swivel and he's got this double bend for uh kind of a chicken leg kind of thing that's the ring. It also goes this way. So if you wanted to keep him like this, you can do that. He has a little bit of movement here on the foot. And that's going to pretty much do it for his articulation. Let's get that swivel. Alright. So he's fun. He's really cool. I like this figure a lot. Uh, you know, he comes out of the package nice and tight joints. So you can just plop him down. My advice is to keep these legs all the way back, so he's kind of at his shortest, but at least you won't have to mess around with, you know, him, because that, that, this joint right here is the weakest joint, so it won't hold like halfway up as well, or it's hard to get it to, to be straight. Alright, so hold on one second, and I'll show you something really cool. This is uh, him with his Decepticon brethren. From the Takeratomi line, we have Megatronus, General Scorponok, uh, we have Fracture, Thunderhoof, and then we also have Quillfire here, all from the Takara line, looking great. Highly recommend this line, getting them all together is a good idea. They're fun, they, you know, they look like the cartoon, or the anime, um, more so than the Hasbros, and they just pop, and, uh, and I just really like this line a lot. I love the paint on the Takara versions. And yeah, so that's that. Also have TED nineteen spring load. I'll get to that quick review uh, pretty soon. For reviews on those figures, please look at my playlists and uh, look back. We have Fracture, Thunderhoof, uh, Megatronus, and Quillfire all reviewed. All right, so we'll get to transformation now. You just want to remove the cutlass, and the first thing you want to do is you want to open up these. And this is where that engineering comes in. There's a flap here, and then you open up a flap there. Just leave it just like that. Okay, so next you want to have his arms like this. Just like that. Then you go up. Then these, these like I showed you before, they're kind of pegged in on the front. With that peg in that slot. And then you can see uh, the little notch right there you can see the let's see there you go you can see the slot the notch and then the slot and there's the tab for the notch right here so you just tab this in like that and stick on the notch like that so anyways you, you have your arms like this and you have those open up we want it to be opened and you go up like this up underneath and you fit the arm in just like that. So what you're going to want to do, it's going to be pegged in like this. You pop that out, you bring it underneath like this, and you just fit the arm in, and you, and you make sure it's all the way in, and then it's going to be just like that. Same thing on this side, you want to just loosen that up, go up from underneath, kind of around the back, you know, like this, that's a better way to explain it, and then you just attach that just like that, so then you have two scorpion arms, they're a little bit heavy for the ball joints, see how that kind of, it, it doesn't always sag, it's just, I don't know, it's just doing it right now, next you want to open up this, you want to turn the head 180, and you want to kind of go backward with it, so it's like that, you flip out this scorpion head, just like this and it will snap into position 
You also take this double hinge. There's a hinge back here. Uh, right there. It's on a double hinge and you want to pull it forward. So therefore the head now goes underneath because before it would go like that. So you want to pull it up on that double hinge. And set that in there like that. And you pull these legs down. It's got a nice little scorpion head with some mandibles that open. Mom, 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 mom. All right, next you want to pull the legs straight out. You want to flip these so they're flat. Pull them in a straight out and in a split kind of. And you're going to want to use this swivel and this ball joint. This is how we do the transformation. First, you want to take from this bend right here, this first pin, and flip it down in like this. So we have it like that. Then you want to make use of the ball joint. And you're going to want to keep that. You're going to want to push that up. But at the same time, you're going to want to use this swivel and hold it by the swivel part and pull the swivel back down to where it was before. So instead of like that, now the ball joint is up here. This one is there. So you can put this tab in that slot. And you want to do that on both sides. Mm -hmm. Just get it to fit. Just like so. Same thing on this side. Get it to fit. And we have scorpion mode. And this is on a ball joint. So you can, it's a ball joint hinge. Hinge, ball joint. This is on a hinge. And this is on a hinge. These are hinged, but they just really are for transformation. And there's no elbow. You can get a little bit, but because of the way that it's engineered. So basically, you're just going to want to use the ball joints here. So, just like that. And then you take the cutlass. You flip this down, and you put it like, like that. Like that. So, this is Scorpinoc in Scorpion mode. And he glides around pretty good, at least on this surface. Really cool figure. Definitely take a little bit of a size comparison with Cool Fire. I mean, he's, I, I had him shrink so he'd fit underneath because he's shorter. But you can extend his legs as well. Um, so that's about the size of him. Alright, so link in the description below for my Twitter and my Facebook. Please go there to follow, link, uh, the, go in the links to follow me there, and also be st uh, sure to stay, be stay tuned for my Comic Cave Optimus Prime review that's coming out today. It should be. I'm going to be filming it in a few minutes. I'm really excited. It's a 15.3 inch diecast Age of Extinction Optimus Prime that's got all the bells and whistles, and uh, really, you know, pricey. So really cool there. And also, um, you know, stay tuned. We're at 225 subscribers. Only 25 to go till the contest ends. And then we'll start another one, possibly, probably. And the next one will be go to 500. Um, so, yeah, this guy's really fun. And I, I recommend this line. All right. So that's the end of the review. I'm out of here. Peace. Stay tuned for the stop motion transformation. Good. Thanks for watching. Link in the description below for my Twitter and my Facebook. Peace, y'all. I'm out of here. It's a wrap.